Hello everyone, welcome back. What you're seeing is our mod old model of semantically segment segmenting real car footage. And this is what I've achieved over the last few weeks. Um, it's, it's getting better. You can see the cars are being uh, highlighted in red, uh, but also there is a lot of other things being highlighted in red, and that's the car color here, which is not perfect, but it's already better interesting observations that i made as a result of it now but i first i need to remind you why i'm doing this uh, testing to real life because the idea of building autonomous driving functionalities in the simulator is it is focusing on this box uh, gray box on the right which is where you develop all your um, models and trickery how to make the car drive like a human but then at some point you need to transition all of that to reality and that transition to reality involves testing uh, on real in this case tesla footage and that's what i've i've been doing now we um i've been spending quite a bit of time building this model and i've kind of um concluded uh, that it's a bit it's a bit daunting to focus all my time to um, improve these models just to test the transition to reality because it can definitely be done it could be improved but it could be done later so what i'm planning to do is actually concentrate on the gray box on the right and actually do stuff in the simulator but at the meantime i wanted to show you what was happening to the model as I was building it. So what you can see is just uh, the model after one training pass. And by the way, I got the model by asking Google Bard, give me a semantic segmentation model. That is a bit better than before. And uh, this is two training passes. You can see uh, the car in front is recognized better than before, but still quite uh, fakey. Now, this is, by the way, Australian footage flipped uh, left to right. So it looks like we're driving in America or in Europe, but we're still driving in Australia. So in this case, the cars are actually turning left, not right. So that was two training passes of the model. And I was training the model multiple ways. And after this is what you see after 24 training passes or epochs and here you can see I switched it back to normal native Australian uh, left-hand driving format. Uh, so the, the car, you, you can see the cars are recognized quite well, but then on the other hand, like there shouldn't be any road color in the sky because I never give any footage example, training footages, um, training images, I uh, should say, where the road is actually up in the sky. So that's a bit strange. But the great thing is usual that the lane markings are recognized quite well. And the blue color here is, by the way, where pedestrians are meant to be. And I don't think we've got many in these examples, but it's trying to, again, put some objects of pedestrian nature in the sky. And that's just wrong. So uh, that's effectively the examples of how model is training and getting better. But uh, I realized I could um, spend quite a bit of time improving this and by the way the model is not perfect just converting rgb footage from the simulator um, just not real tesla footage but rgb video that is coming from the simulator and this is how it recognizes on the left you can see what it should produce but on the right you can see what it's actually producing and yeah it's kind of it's okay it's uh it's not bad but uh this also kind of concludes that improving the model not only will improve it for the real life footage, but um, for, for, for this kind of test as well. And that could be done later. So from this point on, I'll focus on the simulator. Now, uh, just to walk you through the code, how, how this was done. So I asked, but google bar the question okay give me a semantic segmentation model and you can see it gave me a model with encoder and decoder path and 
you know, it had multiple sort of um, upsampling and downsampling steps that were coded as a separate function. And then uh, as far as running, just I ran just model summary and I just making sure that the uh, dimensions of the incoming and outgoing were the same as uh, as you can see the uh, what Bart suggested to me did not result in the output image of the same size so I was trying to make sure that I'll find a way to make sure uh, change the model to make sure the code on the output gives me the image of the same dimensions and I found a way how to effectively just double the width and uh, the height of the image by giving this one extra function which is just one um, convolutional uh, uh, upsampling layer rather and uh, two by two and it just gives me exactly what I wanted and if I ran model summary after that I get exactly 480 by 640 footage and um, the sixth is the number of uh, classes or number of objects that I'm trying to recognize in in the images or video and then I uh, because I wanted to add pedestrians and different color uh, I noticed that version 15 has different colors uh, for trucks and buses so I was I found examples of those um, as I was generating my images and I just uh, picked those colors by uh, printing the exact RGB values of that area of the footage and luckily those um, trucks and buses were positioned on very easily identifiable part of the image like for example in the middle on the left or this bus here is kind of on the right and it's quite easy to get a proxy of where the coordinates of those pixels should be and this is how I've been adding additional sort of color values but mapping them to the same class uh, like for example the uh, the the car or the vehicle class has now got um, that it has, I think maps to three it it actually has more examples of what colors map to three and in this case I was just also adding the pedestrians which is red and that's the value of that red and now I've got classes from 0 to 5 which is uh, 6 classes and all I was doing here was just adding the old model that you've seen before and just replacing the bits of it uh, with this updated model and then when I ran uh, just one epoch this is the um, this is what I got just tested making sure it works and then it was just a matter of doing uh, several uh, passes uh, back and forth like one epoch several 20 epochs you saw the final image 24 epochs so it's just trying to see uh, how well the model trains and that is it the conclusion is well you it will take quite a bit of effort improving semantic segmentation to interpret real car videos and that's a kind of refinement task at the end there is a lot more to be discovered within the simulator and that's where I'm going back to but before that I'm gonna show you in the next video an example how to generate um, training images by taking a copy of the standard code that comes with color and for today thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video and hopefully today was useful thank you